Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Today you'll usually see my League 1 and 2, but as you'll be watching this, or you may be watching this, League 1 and 2 are meant to play their midweek games, so they will be coming up on Thursday. Um, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. The part that of a deal that I've done with the company is they've agreed to do my first lot of merch and the links for that are down in the description below. Um, I'd like to thank LOL T-Shirt Company for their uh, su uh, support of my videos and the amazing support they're showing me. Um, but guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Leeds versus Derby County. Leagues, you know, beating Barnsley 2 0 away from home. I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, Derby County 1 0 at home with Cardiff. With that Derby result, I'd probably be a bit disappointed if, disappointed if I was a Derby fan. Um, on the other hand, that Barnsley result, I wouldn't read too much into it if I was a Barnsley fan. It was a good game till League scored their first goal and it seemed to open up. But leagues have been in the championship for you know quite a while now. Um, well, as Barzi have just came back into the championship, that's what I said. I won't read too much into that. Um, I won't be too downhearted either. Uh, I know teams will probably come up against leagues, and there probably will be high results. Um, but as I said, Derby probably a bit disappointed with that result. So you know, one at home to Cardiff. It's, uh, yeah, so, but with this result, I've gone for a league, 3-1 uh, league win, sorry. Um, the next one is Birmingham City versus Preston North End. Um, Birmingham City beating Charlton away from home 1-0. And Preston North End beating Brentford 2-0 at home. Um, good result for Preston, probably a bit, bit expected at Deepdale. I know a lot of teams struggle at Preston um, away. Well, yeah, if you're going to Preston, um, you know, it's not an easy place to go. Birmingham, on the other hand, 2-1-0 uh, winners at Chelton Athletic. Great result for Birmingham, I personally do think. Um, you know, let's not beat around the bush with that, uh, Birmingham seems to be coming back to their own uh, after quite a few years of struggling after sacking Gary Routlett. Um, hopefully Birmingham might be on their way back up, but do bear in mind that Birmingham do have to ground share with Coventry at home with their home games. So I am really am interested in how the grounds um, like St Andrews is working out for both parts. So if you're a Birmingham City fan, please feel free to comment down below how the ground looks and how, you know, other players handling it do. Does the pitch look heavy, for example? Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Stoke. Brentford, as I've just said, lost 2-0 at Deepdale. I'll talk about that in just a minute. Stoke losing 2-1 to Bristol City at home. Um, Stoke, where are your first three points going to come from? I thought this season Stoke are going to take the championship by storm, and they haven't. Um, you know, I don't, you know, being a Stoke fan, it's got to be hard at times uh, this season. Um, but as always, if you're a Stoke fan, please feel free to put your comments below how you're feeling. Um, and where do you think your first three points are going to come from? Brentford, on the other hand, I've said on the Preston M, Dick Dale is a hard place to go. Um, so if I was a Brentford fan, I'm not sure how I would feel about that result, if I'm all honest. Um, going back to a Stoke game, I know Stoke put my new up as well. Um, I remember looking at my phone uh, for that game. And I thought, I actually did think Stoke could get the three points at one point. But obviously it turned out not to be. Um, 
But yeah, if you're a Stoke fan, where do you think your first three points are going to come from? And, you know, do you think you're going to survive in the Championship this season? Please feel free to put that down below as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-0 Brentford win. My next one is Bristol City versus Swansea. State, our leagues went back top because of Swansea's defeat. Um, to uh, Swansea losing 1 0 to Nottingham Forest at home. Um, Nottingham Forest, wherever it is, have seemed to found their form. Um, obviously, still a long way to go in the championship season. Still a lot more predictions for me to do. Still a lot more twisted turns in this season. I can guarantee you that it's, you know, one of these divisions that are really tough to get promoted from um and what I've been seeing after the league table of just like a few teams will struggle to stay uh in the championship and not go down to league one but it's got to be remain to be seen Bristol City beating Stoke away from home 2-1 great three points from Bristol City after coming back from 1-0 down but Bristol City, I think I've got to start looking at the next step now, possibly looking towards the playoffs um, come May. Um, but as I said, there's a long way to go. Still a lot more petitions for me to do and still a lot more twisted turns to come. Um, but it's going to be an interesting season like it always is in the Championship. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Swansea City win. My next one is Cardiff versus Middlesbrough. Cardiff won all with Derby at Derby County. Middlesbrough beating Reading 1-0 at home. And that Middlesbrough result, you know, there's nothing really much to reflect on. I probably expected a bit too much of Middlesbrough this season. And, um, you know... With the people they've had in charge and the investment they've had and stuff like that, it as I said, this is one hard division year in, year out. Um, Cardiff, on the other hand, I'd be happy with the point if I was a Cardiff City fan, but you have got to keep on going, as I said, a long way to go. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one on the scoreline for that one. My next one is Luton Town versus Hull City. Hull City 2-2 at home to Wigan Athletic. Great point for Wigan. Um, Luton, on the other hand, losing 3-2 to Queen's Park Rangers away from home. Uh, I know uh, Queen's Park Ranger, uh, Queen's Park Rangers... At home is a t another tough place in the championship to go um, year in, year out. Because it is so tight, you're you're having you're having to change your football basically with you know the long balls and that. It's such a short pitch. Uh, one of the shortest pitches in the championships, I do believe. Um, but to come away three two losers with that, that must have been a game and a half. Um, Hull City 2-2 two -two at home against Wigan. Um, disappointing that their office for Hull. Great point for Wigan away, um, if I'm all honest. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Luton Town win. My next one is Millwall versus QPR. QPR, just that you mentioned, 3-2 winners at home against Luton Town. Millwall losing 2 0 away from home against Blackburn. Um, you know, that result with Blackburn, I think they're a lot stronger at home than they are away. Um, on the other hand, QPR, as I said, their pitch is so tight, I'll be disappointed if QPR did cover over three points against Luton Town. No disrespect to Luton Town whatsoever. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 1 QPR win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Barnsley. 
Barnsley losing one uh, two nil at home to Leagues, and Nottingham Forest beating uh, Swansea one nil away from home. Um, where do you sum up with that? It is purely whatever Nottingham Forest was losing at. They seem to have got something at this point in time. Um, as I said, there's still a long, long way to go. Uh, you know, it only takes a couple of defeats and stuff like that. You can find yourself back in that scrap. Um, but whatever Notch Forest have got at the minute, whatever it is that's making them win away from home, you know, it's got to maintain that um, over the period of the season. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3 2 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is Reading versus Blackburn. Blackburn beating Millwall 2 0 at home. Reading losing to Middle Square 1 0 away from home. No big surprises for say for both of them games. Well, I've already wanted to say about them games, I've said it. So I'm just going to give you the scoreline for this one and I'll go for a 2 0 Blackburn win. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Fulham. Fulham at home, uh, drawing at home against West Brom, uh, one all. And I'm not quite done a great goal in that game as well. Uh, I've seen it. Um, West Brom to come back at Fulham. Uh, don't know quite how you summon that up. I'll probably be if I was a Fulham fan, I'll probably be disappointed on the verge of, you know, being 1-0 up, and I think it's 10 minutes left when West Brom got their equaliser. Um, but, you know, if Fulham do want to get back into the Premier League, their games are going to have to win. Um, I know teams like West Brom expect to be back in the playoffs, but this what I'm saying with the championship, it's so hard to you know get results. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, on the other hand, beating uh, Huddersfield Town away from home two 0 Great start for Gary Monk. Um, not such a great start for Danny and his brother in the Huddersfield Town job. I'll talk about more about Huddersfield Town when I get down to to that game. Um, but let's go to Sheffield Wednesday side of things for a minute. Great three points away from home. Um you know you still gotta to go to Huddersfield to get the job done. But as far as this game goes, I'm gonna go for a two two scoreline for that one. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Charlton. Charlton losing one nil at home to Birmingham City. Wigan Athletic 2-2 against Hull away from home. Uh, great point for Wigan, I've already stated that. Um, I don't want to dwell on that Wigan result much more because I've already said what I wanted to say on that result. Charlton on the other hand, disappointing not to get a point out of that. Uh, I know I've just came back into the championship. No disrespect to Birmingham, obviously I've said in this video about them getting their problems sorted. But Charlton still need to compete with teams like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how long it would be if Birmingham get back in the playoffs, if any. It's going to take a bit of time, but as I've said on the chart, then they should really oh, basically need to get a point out of that game. Um, put it down in the comments below if you're a Charlton fan, how you feel about that result. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Charlton win. My last one for this weekend is West Brom versus Huddersfield. Um, West Brom 1 0 again, 1 uh, 0 at Fulham. Uh, you know, great point for West Brom on the other hand. Huddersfield troubles seem to keep occurring. Um, I'm going to talk about West Brom, I'll talk about Huddersfield in just a minute. You know, with West Brom, if you're a West Brom fan, please feel free, because I've always been interested ever since, you know, your 
change of managers. Uh, where, what's your expectations? I mean, I know every fan's got their own expectations of their own club. Um, obviously, you're allowed to. Please feel free to put your comments down below who you support and what's your expectations for this for this season. I know we're just, no, no, we're not even in the halfway stage yet. But anyway, just feel free to put your comments down below of what you're thinking and what's your expectations of your club. Um, I really am interested to hear. Uh, Huddersfield, as I said, problems continue for Huddersfield. Uh, you won't believe it that I just got relegated from the Premier League last season. I mean, I've said it to my dad, and that, and that's and one that says no disrespect to Huddersfield whatsoever. It is, I've said to my dad that if I was about five, um, which I'm not, um. I would not believe that you said Huddersfield came down for the Premier League. As I said, that's no disrespect to Huddersfield whatsoever. Um, it's just, I think David Wagner left it too late, if I'm all honest with your Huddersfield fans. It is one of them things, I think, where this is my biggest fear with my club, if I ever go down. It is not worrying about getting back up, it's worried about back-to-back -back relegations. Which obviously, as I've stated in another video, is what Sunderland did. But you've got to somehow get together, get them goals going. I think once you scored one, hopefully you'll be able to hit them out uh, like a good one. It is one of them things where one t if your team struggles to score, it seems to continue. I think all this guys take for Huddersfield. Even if it's just a tap-in for starters, and then I think you'll be on your way. But I've gone on for this result for long enough. Um, but anyway, for this game, I've gone for a 3-0 West Brom win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.